to my channel. Today is a very fun video because I'm going to be talking about all of my favorites and all of my Jeffree Star cosmetics. I have a lot. <laughs> um, just a few actually. I only have a few of the lipstick and a, I mean a few highlighters and then just a couple of the liquids and some eyeshadow, you know, nothing too crazy. <laughs> and before we get started, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch all of my videos because I need some watch time, girl, because ain't no one even find me on the YouTube. But if you want to see all my favorite Jeffree Star cosmetics, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to be talking about the Liquid Frost. These are the liquid highlighters that just came out very recently. Today I'm wearing this one on my cheekbones and these are so f***ing pretty. Like they have so much glitter in them. I really like the like high glitter. You can kind of see the glittery from it. But I love this. A little goes a very long way. I did like half a pump and I have so much left over. So a tiny tiny little bit goes a very very long way. Um, the bottle's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Um, just by seeing pictures, but it's still really cute. I have Frostbite, Frozen Peach, and Canary Bling. So I got three of them that I thought might work for me. So I'm excited to try the other shades, but this is one I'm wearing right now, and it looks cute or whatever. Next, I'm going to be talking about the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Highlighter. Um, these are... I think they're a little iconic with the ginormous pans and you can pretty much spot these where whenever someone's using them because no one else does it like this, honey. But I have 13 Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighters. Um, my top three that I picked out, um, the first one is the newest with the sarcophagus highlighter in the larger pan and this is... This is freaking beautiful. This is like the perfect like champagne color for my cheekbones. I really like a highlighter. Like I'm really blinding one, so I just pack it on, honey. But that one is very good. The the first one I ever bought actually is Ice Cold. This is the first one I ever owned from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and she has been through it. She looks like she just went through a blender, but that's all right because it's so freaking pretty. I get so many compliments every time I'm wearing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighters, like, you're doing something right, because <laughs> everyone likes it. And then the last one that I really love is Peach Goddess, which also has been through the ringer, but this one is obviously peachy, but um, it's very pretty. Next up, we have lipsticks. These are lip ammunitions and liquid lips, and we have also the mini ones in here. But Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are, I think they're the best formula that I've ever tried out. They're very comfortable on the lips, besides the purple one. Where's she at? This one right here is not comfortable on the lips. She is very drying, and she will stain your lips pink when you try to take it off. This one I don't really wear because, like, but the rest of them are freaking amazing. One of my favorites and also another new one is Birthday Suit. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, she is a more peachy nude. Um, I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'm kind of dumb. But um, this one is a beautiful color. My next favorite is Mannequin. I actually bought this one and I'm nude. My two other favorite nudes. I bought these two at the Morphe store in Burbank, California. When I went there just one time, it was before they had all these other stores. But these three nudes. Oh, and um, Christmas cookie. This one's pretty dang good as well. These three nude, four nudes now are beautiful. I am excited to try out these two from the orange collection that I got. I only got two because they're the only ones I really vibed with soft serve and thirst trap i did swatch thirst trap and it is a cute metallic but i really like the orange i think he needs to come out with a baby blue one that will be beautiful like the cap 
for the minis, my favorite mini is Posh Spice. I know it comes in a large size, but I actually kind of like the smaller size sometimes because it's. I think it's easier to apply than having the longer like applicator. I think the minis are sometimes easier to put on the lips. Some crazy shades that I have never worn in public. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> um, and then this, I like, I actually really like this one. It is um, Dirty Money and it looks actually really pretty. One thing about the lip ammunitions is, I don't know if it's just me or I always put them on top of a liquid lipstick and they kind of get a little chunky, but I think it's because I'm layering it up, layering on the product. But his liquid lipstick formula is one of the best. I'm not even, like, I'm not even kissing his ass, sucking on his wiener, but they are literally <laughs> so good. And if any, any product, if you don't like a blinding highlight, I definitely recommend the liquid lipsticks because they are amazing. Next up for some eyeshadow, um, I don't have the Thirsty palette yet because she is just sold out everywhere I've looked, which is not fun because I do want that palette, like, I want it a lot. But, um, I do have the Blood Sugar palette, I actually just got this one from Beautylish, and this, I used it today, it's not the greatest look I've done, but it ain't bad, I don't think. This one, she's a cute palette for sure. She's more pink red. But yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. I used it today. I look forward to using it a lot more. Um, and this palette is thick and she is like, I, have you ever seen a palette with buckles on it? I sure haven't. But if I ever go somewhere, I might use it as like a purse or no I'm just kidding but um this one is very good and I also have the beauty killer and androgyny palette the beauty killer palette I haven't used too much I use the white shade a lot and then the shade right here for transitions I've used the blue when I do different blue looks um I tried to use the pink ones but I'm not a huge fan of pink and it looks very bad on me so that one didn't go over as well but this is the first Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, palette that I got, obviously, because I got it before Androgyny came out, so <laughs> I really like this palette. And then I have the Androgyny palette, and I have used Safe Word as a bronzer, just like Jeffree Star does, and it is really beautiful. This palette I've used a lot more than the Beauty Killer palette. I really love this military green. Sorry, I'm watching myself in the monitor a lot. And um, the blues, I will do a uh, like blue halo eye with like the darkers in the crease and then do the lighter ones from other palettes in the center. And then, have I, and I use the browns a few times, but I really like this one. I think it looks really pretty, like just by looking at the palette, I think it looks the best out of, um, out of these two. I don't think it looks better than the blood sugar palette, but yeah, I really do like this one. And finally, I have the Platinum Ice Highlighter Palette. This highlighter palette is really pretty. I like this middle one right here. It's like a, I don't even know, it's like a bluish gray, I feel like. And that one is really pretty. I use Ice Cold in here. When I travel, I bring this one with me because it's a lot easier to bring this one with six highlighters than bringing six different ones of these because, you know, you can kind of see where that comes into place. I haven't really used the green one. I kind of used the pink one one time and then I used lavender when I was doing um, makeup for someone on a deeper skin tone, but I really do love this highlighter palette and it is worth the um, only $40 for all of these pans. Alrighty, and that is all I have for this video. Just showing you a bunch of my favorite Jeffree Star cosmetics as well as my collection and what I have. If you want to know more into how many lipsticks or what lipsticks I have or any other questions about Jeffree Star cosmetics for what I have and what I could answer, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And before you leave, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see whenever I upload a video, turn on the little bell, get notified, get my subscriber count up, make me be seen because girl, no one even knows I exist. But that is all I have for this video. So until my next one, bye. Worst video I've ever filmed in my life.
First, I'm going to be talking about the, what are these called? Oh, wait. If you like this video, go ahead and give it, if you like this video, go ahead and give it, God, what the 